adjust to that color. Hey everyone! So I wanted to do a really quick vlog because something funny happened to me. It was a little bit justice porn-ish and I just wanted to make a quick video about it. So this happened to me when I was flying back from Phoenix last week. So I got to the airport and I had a little bit of time to kill before my flight and I was hanging out at the Admirals Club. Hanging out is so, it sounds so fancy. I was drinking a Coke at the Admirals Club and looking at my phone, basically. And there are lots of different people who are in the Admirals Club. A lot of them are business people. Sometimes people take phone calls and things like that. And there was a guy who was talking on the phone and he was like pacing just a little bit by his chair. He wasn't going very far, especially like for the size of the Admiral's Club. He was just kind of like walking back and forth behind where his chair was and having a conversation that like sure like when people talk on the phone it's kind of annoying but he wasn't being like loud or boisterous or anything he was just kind of talking normally so if the guy was here having his conversation and roaming i'm here like four chairs down and then a couple is down here like three or four chairs away from me and everything this guy says this lady in the couple has something loud and snarky to say back to. So this guy's over here and he's talking. He's like, oh yeah, that's great. And I swear, I swear, every time he said something, this lady would have some comeback about him being on the phone. And she would say it just loud enough that she felt ballsy, but not loud enough that she was actually being ballsy. So he would say something like, oh, that's great. And she would be like, yeah, it's great that you're on your phone where everybody can hear you. But he could not hear her. I cannot stress that enough. This guy over here, not loud enough for him to hear her, but for me in the middle, loud enough to hear both this guy's conversation and this bitch's back and forth with nobody because she's just pissed off that he's on the phone. It was so annoying. Like people being on the phone is annoying, but you loudly enough to feel like you're being ballsy, interjecting your own bullshit is even more annoying. Shut the fuck up, just let him do his phone call and then he'll put it away. And even like when he was getting off the phone, he's like, all right, let me let you go. Thanks so much for calling. She literally was like, yeah, thanks so much for having a loud conversation in the Admirals Club. Oh, I was not about it. I was not into this woman at all. Fuck you, lady. And then right after I got off the phone, I got a text message from American that said my flight was delayed. And I hear this bitch go, ah, oh, our flight's delayed. <laughs> I'm like, no, she's on my flight. I don't know why it matters. I'm probably never gonna see this woman again, but I remember being like, oh, God damn it, this lady's on my flight. She's bringing her negativity to Austin. So fast forward to actually boarding the plane. Uh, I've forgotten all about shouty out McGee over there. And I'm walking to my seat, and who's sitting in my goddamn seat but shouty McGee? So I said, um, excuse me, I think you're in my seat, uh, 13F? And shouty McGee goes, um, this is row 12. You guys, I got so excited. I got like, li oh, little fireworks went off in my head. I'm not even kidding. I'm like, oh, I'm ready to go. And I know shit. If this is like the placard on the aisle that says like, you know, 13 or 12 or whatever row you're at. Because I'm backwards from where she is because she's in my goddamn chair. I go, um, no, tink, tink, tink. This is row 12. And to make it even better, row 13, an exit row. Row 12, not an exit row. Excuse me, Shouty McGee, you're gonna need to relocate yourself into this smaller aisle here while I get the fucking big aisle. I was so excited. Shouty McGee went like this. Oh. Well, I don't think my bag is gonna fit. I'm like talking to her husband and she's like, oh God, I don't think it's gonna fit into the space here. I don't know. And he literally says to her, well, I mean, we have to get up. It's her seat. And she goes, ugh. And like loudly like moves all of her crap into the tiny little chair in the non-exit row. And then to make it even better, guys, could it get better? It can get better. There was no one else in my row. So I took this photo of me and my empty seat. And I took this video of me kicking my feet in my little extra foot room because I was so excited that Shouty McGee didn't get it. <laughs> And that's my story of a tiny little moment in my life where I got to tell a woman to shove it because I know that she was not a nice person. And I got my own row and my kicky feet. <sighs> so, what's the most justice porn-ish tiny moment in your life? Let me know in the comments down below. Don't forget to like, subscribe, all the good stuff, and I'll see you next time. Bye! Who's in the video kitten is? Wait. No. Say hi. Say hey, my boy.
when I played fetch? Remember when I played fetch? You played it on this channel. You did. Yes, you did. Who hates being on the channel? Mm, you do.